So hello friend, welcome back to channel. In our previous video, we have copied the RDM packages under package directory ls and these are all the RPM which we have copied from the ISO image which is we have downloaded from the internet. Okay, which we use to install the OS. So now how we will install the RPM. For installing RPM, we have to use command RPM. So let's start with RPM installation erasing and all the option. So for installation, we are having RPM hyphen I for installation and the package name like we will install NTP then hyphen 4 this solar package. If I install this, it got installed. How we will verify RPM hyphen query all pipe grab NTP. Okay, so it's showing here it got installed. Perfect. If I want to erase it, so rpm hyphen e ntp and complete this thing I have to give. So let me copy and paste. It got erased. Now if I go and verify, ntp is not there. See under this package was there. Now it's not there. So for installation we are having hyphen i for erase we are having e. For query, we are in Q. That's the basic thing. Now, we'll try to install it again, but we'll use option hyphen i install with in verbose as is in hash. NTP hyphen 4. Okay. So, what has done earlier, we are getting this many options. This warning message we are getting. Now, because of verbose thing, we got this thing and updating installation and hash value 100% got completed or not that we are getting. So it is quite human readable interactive we are having. Now same will go with the we'll uninstall. Okay, first we'll verify it. RPM hyphen query or pipe grab NTP. This is the correct package. If I do NT, uh, RPM hyphen E in E for verbose and we have to give complete name. Okay. So it's showing fail dependency RPM date is needed by install NTP this thing. Correct it's showing NTP date for that thing. Okay. So first we will do by mistake we are uh, uninstalling NTP. This is the thing. NTP date is required. That's why it's not getting installed because NTP date is having dependency. So NTP will not work without NTP date. So we are getting message. Error fail dependencies NTP date is needed by installed NTP. So NTP date is the dependent package of NTP. That's why we are not able to install. First of all, uninstall NTP. It got installed. Okay. So we do. Now NTP date will try to uninstall. This time, what we'll do? I file E, V, and paste. See, it got uninstalled. Now, rpm hyphen QA pipe grab NTP. See, NTP data and NTP bot got uninstalled. Let me clear my screen. So, rpm hyphen QA, we are doing the grab. If I do rpm hyphen QA, I will get all the package which is installed in my OS. But, what package we have installed on what date? For that, we are having last. This will be a long list, so I will do less to read the page. F page. See, Firefox is installed on 1st of Jan, then mail cap, open LDAP. It's not showing today's because we have uninstalled the today's solar package. So we will install NTP iPhone 4. Now, see, it will show one error. It will show what is showing fail dependency. For NTP, we require NTP date. So, first we have to install NTP date. Okay, it got installed. Then we can install NTP hyphen 4. It got installed. So, dependency we have to fulfill it. Okay, now we'll see less. So, it's showing NTP, NTP date, Tuesday 03 Jan 2023. Evening 7 30 24 seconds. Perfect. This manner you can check 
what package we have installed on what date. If I want to update rtm hyphen uvh in the package name bsftp yes it will not get update because update will work whenever package is already installed so what it did it installed okay rpm hyphen qa pipe grab vsftpd we'll discuss what is the package and why we are installing that thing so we'll do the less it's showing vsftpd got installed on jan 03 pm now whatever option what other option we are having rpm hyphen q f query a file that belongs to which rpm means we don't know this uh, password file belongs to which rpm it's showing it belongs to setup now if i am not sure what about the ntp so there's a file called ntp.com which is belongs to ntp rpm so this is how you will come to know okay this file belongs to which rpm but there are some file which don't doesn't belongs to any rpm like uh restaurant.com see file etc result.conf is not owned by any package this comes with the by default system installation okay then uh, what option we are having hyphen i so this will give you the uh, information about the installed package so like i did the ntp here rpm hyphen ui ntp so it will show this is the name of the package version release architecture when it got installed system information signature description why we are having same we'll do with bsftpd so it's showing Yes, FTPD is very secure. FTPD1, which was written completely from the scratch, and it got installed on a Tuesday, 03730731 PIST. So, this is how you can read the information of any package. But there's a package called uh, HTTPD. We'll check RPM will give a query on grep HTTP. Okay, no package is there. HTTP, I will. There is no package installed. If I do rpm hyphen qi to httpd, it will not give any information because it not yet installed. So to get this information, I have to install it. But I don't want to install before installing. I need the information. What we can do? You can do package no such file because you have to give complete package name. So http yes complete rpm detail we have given it's showing name version release architecture installed it not installed okay so before installation of the any package required description reading the apache http server is a powerful efficient and extensible web server so this is required for the web server perfect now qf we are doing post less etc pass the bloody correct but if I add D in this, you will get document. See, USR share document setup, copying UID grid, like uh, whatever you will read from the main page. Help thing. So setup document is where it is got created. Like NTP, we are having slash etc, ntp.com. So this many document is there, where it got stored, whatever file it has written. Okay, and the same will go to posts, correct? But if you'll see resolve, which is not part of any package, will not get information. There are other command too, to verify the signature because signature is very useful, but we will not talk about that. I will just show you the information. So what we'll do, rpm hyphen pay and the package name, what we'll do, ntp hyphen or so it's showing warning ntpd header this thing key id no key so key is not passed we'll discuss this thing just an option i am showing you so what option we have learned rpm hyphen ivh to install and we have to give complete i k query base we have four verbos okay qa query all then we have to put pipe less qa 
I find for last to show when package got installed and what time they have installed and UVH to update query file file belongs to which RPM query I information about the package query IP uninstall package information description okay query F we have already discussed belongs to which file if I do D option that will show the document of the installed package and last option we are having V capital V and P verify the package okay now rpm hyphen ibh http d hyphen let's see 2.4 countries so it's showing failed dependencies so this http package required http tool so what option I am having first I have to install this tick http tools it got installed now we'll install http it got installed so like this package is having only one dependency there are some package which is having n number of dependencies how you will resolve this thing so let me uninstall both the thing first we'll erase and propose this thing anyway okay uh, this i have to remove rpm extension okay and because while installing you should not give dot ev uh, rpm ev not install sleep tool okay uh, i will get the name from rpm hyphen qa pipe grab http complete name is this uninstall if i do rpm hyphen qa you're not getting so there's a one option rpm hyphen ivh install package hyphen fan no dps no dependencies http http d hyphen 2 so it will won't ask for the dependency it will get installed so earlier it was prompting for a dependency that is required for this so we have installed this package without any dependencies now what's the thing why we are using this option in very few cases we can use but this option should not use because if this package is required http tools and we are not giving that thing so this package will not work in a proper manner so this software think like http is a software we are not giving all the information to software and some file is missing software will not work in a perfect manner it will not perform like how he has to perform so that's why we have to resolve all the dependencies but there are some exception when we have to cut down the dependencies just a package enough so in that case you can use no depths no dependencies correct now thing is that if we are having n number of dependencies and again one by one we will install each and every package then this is a tedious job for that we are having one more option see the next video you will get to know about the new version of this how we can resolve the dependency automatically we don't require human interaction again so there's a simple one command we'll install all the rpms and its dependencies prompting you yes and no up to you you want to install yes if you don't want to install no keep practicing see you in the next video bye bye